guys, my name is Ebo Oluwa and I'm going to be reading Beauty and the Beast. And click the subscribe button down there so that you won't miss any of my new videos. Thank you. Once upon a time, a selfish young prince refused to give an old beggar woman shelter in his castle. But the old woman was really an enchantress. As a punishment, she turned the prince into a terrifying beast and cast a spell on everyone in the castle. Giving the beast a magic rose, she said, this will bloom onto your 21st year. If you learn to love another and end up in his love before the last person put out falls, the spell will be broken. If not, you will remain a beast forever. In a sleepy village nearby, an eccentric inventor named Maurice lived with his beautiful daughter Belle. Gaston, a strong and handsome young man from the village, had decided that he wanted to make Belle his wife. After all, he told his friend Lefou, she's the best looking girl in town. Gaston arrived at Belle's house, confident that Belle would agree to marry him. But when he asked her, Belle refused him without a second thought. She knew she could never marry someone as arrogant and conceited as Gaston. One day, Mary set off for a fair with his latest invention. As night fell, he lost his way and had to seek refuge in the beast's castle. Mary was welcomed by some friendly enchanted servants, including a candelabra named Lumere, a clock named Codswalk, a teapot named Miss Pot and a son chick, a teacup. But the beast was furious when he discovered a stranger in his home and he threw Morris into the dungeon. When Morris sees horse return home alone, they'll set off at once to search for her father. Oh, Papa! Belle cried when she found out Morris in in the freezing dungeon. We must get you out of here. Sensing danger, Belle turned around. There was the beast tying our hat and growling loudly. Please let my father go. Bell pleaded. I'll take his place here. The beast agreed at once. He dragged Maurice out of the cell and sent him back to the village. The beast showed Bell to her room. You can go anywhere in the castle, he told her, except the west wing. That is forbidden. Poor Bell was miserable. She missed her father and home. The enchanted object prepared a wonderful meal for her and tried to cheer up with the singing and dancing. But Belle was still lonely and later that night she wandered through the castle. She soon found herself in the west wing. There among broken furniture and cracked mirrors. She found the magic clothes. It's better dropping sadly. Just as Belle reached out to touch the rose, the beast burst in howling with rage. Terrified, Belle ran out into the snowy night. Belle leaped onto her father's horse and set off blindly into the dark forest. Suddenly, she was surrounded by a pack of vicious, hungry wolves. 
just as the wolves closed in for the, the kill, the beast appeared through the trees, fighting br bravely. He drove the wolves away. But then the beast sank to the ground in pain. The wolves had injured him. Bound knew she could not leave him there alone. She took the beast back to the castle and gently tended his bleeding wounds. He, he seemed quite different now and she was no longer frightened of him. Meanwhile, at the village, Tavan Gaston was still brooding over Belle. Even though his friends did their best to cheer him up, suddenly the door burst open and Maurice rushed in. Help! he cried. Belle is being held by a prisoner by a monstrous beast. The man in the tavern burst out laughing. They thought Maurice was mad. But Gaston smiled himself. He had thought of a way to make Belle marry him. He called a tall, sinister looking man over to his table and Gaston began to tell him what he had in mind. As the days passed, Belle and the Beast spent more and more time together. The enchanted servants were delighted. They were certain that Belle would fall in love with the master and break the spell. But time was running out each day. More petals fell from the magic rolls. One evening, after dining and dancing together, the beast and Belle sat out on the terrace in the cool night air. Are you happy here, Belle? asked the beast. Yes, replied Belle. I just wish I could see my father again. You can, said the beast. He gave Belle a magic mirror. This will show you whatever you wish. Oh, thank you, explained Belle. But as she gazed into it, Belle saw her father lost and trembling with cold as she shut for bed. Although the beast loved Belle, he knew he had to let her go to her father. Take the mirror with you, he said sadly, so you can remember me. Belle set off from the castle and soon found Maurice. She brought him safely home and put him to bed. The next day, Gaston arrived at Belle's house with a crowd of villagers. He said that Morris would be taken to an asylum unless Belle agreed to marry him. My father is not mad, cried Belle. He must be, said Nathan. He was raving about a monstrous beast. The beast is real, cried Belle. Look, she held up the magic mirror, and the crowd saw the beast for themselves. They all shouted with fear and refused to listen to Belle when she told them the beast was kind and good. The man marched up to the castle doors and broke them down. God walked like the enchanted servant in a brave defense of the castle. But the beast mused there and was too heartbroken to fight. Even when Gaston beat him with a cup and drove him to the, onto the castle roof. Only when he heard the bell's voice did the beast look up. You came back, he cried, rushing to embrace Belle. This was the chance Gaston had been waiting for. Drawing his dagger, he stabbed the beast in the back. But as the beast collapsed, Gaston tripped and fell tumbling from the roof. Bell ran to the wounded beast and bent to kiss him. The last petal was just about to fall from the roof. You can't die, sobbed Bell. 
I love you. I wish I never left you alone. Suddenly, a magic mist surrounded the beast, and before Belle's astonished eyes, he turned into the handsome young prince he had once been. One by one, the enchanted servants became human again. Weeping with joy, they hugged each other as the prince fell down into his arms. The prince had found his true love at last, and the spell of the enchantress was broken. As the sun burst through the clouds, they knew they would all live together and happiness forever. Mm -hmm.